All right, I don't know what to start with. I'm gonna grab what's closest to me. So this is my Anthurium, not Anthurium, what you thought. This is my Alocasia Regal Shield. As you can see, this leaf right here is just being a drama queen. So I do wanna cut this off because he did put out like two, no, he put out one more new leaf. What is this? This is his latest leaf. Yeah, this right here is the latest leaf that he's putting out. So I'm just gonna leave him with these three leaves right here. And we gotta get this one up out the way because he's causing problems. I may also, I don't really need the scissors for that. But I may also want to repot him because the roots are already down here at the bottom. And I noticed that this dries out really fast. It dries out really, I don't know. I don't know if I want to repot them. Because I feel like that might be a waste of time. But yeah, Alocasia Regal Shield doing good. Just needed to get that one ugly leaf up off of him. We really might just breeze through this. Okay, so my next problem, child. My philodendron, what is this? Philodendron, what is this? Fuzzy Petio. Yeah, my philodendron Fuzzy Petio. So this is the last leaf that came out. And yeah, I mean, it's still growing. It is bigger already than this one right here, but I still don't like it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna cut him up. I'm gonna cut him up right here, right now. I didn't wanna have to do it, but it's looking like I do gotta do it because it's just, this is it. It's just one plant going up and I'd rather have multiple plants just like I decided with my Philodendron Gigantium, how I wanted to make it a bushier plant. I mean, I like them getting tall. It's nice when it's getting tall. And if the leaves were, you know, coming out nicely and getting bigger as it got taller, then I would leave it getting tall. But they just acting stupid. And I don't, I don't want to be bothered with that. I don't really like that. That's so funny. This is how he looks if he <laughs> doesn't have any support. Yeah, we're gonna chop him up. I'm gonna do it right here. All right. Where do we start? I'm gonna, uh, what am I gonna do? So the one that's down here, should I just take it from the top? Leave one, should I leave one leaf on it? Yeah, let me leave one leaf on it. So I'm gonna cut right above. I'm trying to show y'all. Can y'all see? All right, I'm gonna leave this leaf right here. I'm gonna cut right above it. Ouch, cut my finger like a jackass. At least I ain't bleeding, or I ain't bleeding yet. Here you go, there he go. Hopefully he could get it together from here. Let me, um, and then I don't have a table. Like what am I doing right now? <laughs> I'm wilding and freestyling. But I'm gonna secure this piece to the pole so that it'll um, know that I, what I want to happen. You know, I want you to go up. Rise to the occasion. All right, there you go. Hopefully, hopefully he put it together. Now, as far as this piece, where's the scissors? All right, we're just gonna go between the nodes. One, two, two. I don't know what happened here. We missing a leaf, but I'm gonna still cut the nodes. Well, cut between the nodes. Have a little sticky sticks. Like that. Cut some leaves too. And I'm gonna leave this like this. There is space between the nodes from here to here, but I'm gonna leave it like this because I want to have both of these in water just in case because this has like a new leaf emerging right there and it has this leaf which is still hardening off so hopefully it continues to do so in water if not oh well 
Oh well. So yeah, that's that. So we got one, two, three, four, five cuttings right here and two of these. I'm thinking about also starting. I really cut my hand, that's crazy. But I'm thinking about starting a pop box and I do wanna use Perlite. I wanna give Perlite another go even though it's really a dub. But it's only a dub because it's only a dub because with my last um it's only a dub because I never really opened up the prop boxes to air them out. So I need to just do that more frequently and maybe we'll have success that way. I love the idea of Perlite, so I'm gonna try again because I do want to be using Perlite and it's cheap. Like you get a big ass bag of Perlite real quick. It's always available everywhere you go. You can find Perlite. You can order Perlite next day shipping. It's not really ever out of stock. Just I'm traumatized because anytime I need sphagnum moss, it's an issue. So, well, the specific sphagnum moss that I like to use. Anytime I'm looking for it, it's a problem. I'm gonna go get the water and stuff. I'm getting all the juices all over my hands. Mm -mm. That ain't right. Let me not, cause I broke my, I broke my computer for a couple days. It wasn't working because in the last video, I got water all over it. Where we going? I got this container right here. Distilled water. Um, I'm gonna put Super Thrive in the water. Now my hand bleeding. Not to flip y'all off or nothing. But look, we got blood, y'all. Let me get a baby. Okay. I'm gonna pour the water in here and put a drop of Super Thrive because I'm not ready to mix up my water yet. Period. Now I'm handicapped. Hopefully I just put a drop. Bing. I put a bing up in there. Oh, that looks so nice. Okay, wow. Well, let's go. One. Damn, I really ain't need all that water, huh? I might take some of my water back. Hold on, I'm taking some of my water back. Wait, let me see the piece with two on it. Okay, no, I do need all that water. Wow, we got a bouquet of um Lizandra Fuzzy Patio. Hopefully I get it together. You know how they say let these callus off, let the tips of those callus off. I got a confession. I don't never, I don't never do that. I mean, unless I cut them and leave them for a little while as I do something else with my plants, then yeah. But on a normal day when I'm just messing with my plants on my own without a camera in front of me, no audience, I don't be letting them things dry off. I don't put cinnamon. I don't do nothing. I'm a, I, I, I want to say that I'll start doing that. I'll try and see how that goes, but. I don't really feel the need because I never do that and my cutting still root and everything, you know, no problem. So yeah, I just, you know, I just had to let y'all know. Just in case somebody else wants to know, you have to do that. In my experience, you don't have to do that at all. What's next? And where am I gonna put this? Am I gonna leave them out or put them in the tent? I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put these in the tent. Uh, all right, this is my this is my Flint Benjamin Gloriosum Verde. I just wanted to show y'all we still going strong. We still going strong. It got them things on it, them little balls of secretions. Those little, I don't know if y'all can see them, but it got the little balls. Cute. I want him to get his life together and face forward. But no, look how he's facing. And I think it's just to be parallel with the light, 
which is kind of annoying, but that's how we living. I really wanted to show y'all his new leaf, how big it is already. And it's still down here. That is so nice. I cannot wait. And then, oh, this is what I wanted to do. Y'all probably gonna be like, girl, no. But girl, I wanna separate. I wanna separate these two, his good leaves, from the ones in the back. So I'm wondering, no, I didn't fold my legs, but I'm wondering if I could just cut these while they already in here. And I think I can. It's a name for that. It's a name for that. And I'm, I see roots. Yeah, it has big, thick roots. Okay, so let me show you why I feel like I could do it and that I am gonna do it. And if we mess up, we'll pick ourselves up and we will try again, okay? We will. <laughs> we will overcome any nonsense that I do. But this root, that's coming from the new piece right here with the latest nodes on it. And then this one has this big one right here. That's coming from him too. So I feel like if I cut right here, it should live on. It should live on. It has a whole bunch of roots all up and through here. So let's see, we got to do it. Where the scissors go? Oh, here they go. I'm gonna cut it just like that. Now that's loose a little bit. And what else? Oh, it's gonna need it's gonna need a little support. It's gonna need a little support, but it is staying in here. Like I'm not gonna move it and all that. So back here. It has a whole stem or whatever you call it. From here to here, there's thin. So I'ma just cut in there. Let me see. I'm trying to see where the nodes are. Let me cut one cut between nodes. And then Another cut. Yeah, it's roots all in here. What else? So I already separated that, so these will be a plan. I think I'ma just leave, oh, y'all can't even see nothing. So I cut up in between nodes on the back section that doesn't have any leaves on it. And these three right here, I'ma just leave them intact as a, as a plan, you know? I'ma leave them as a plan. Um, I'm just gonna leave this in here for right now. Let it figure out what the hell's going on. And I know y'all probably like, girl, you just did that as it has a new leaf coming out. Yeah, I did. I did, so. These in here, and I will give y'all the update and let y'all know if it worked out, if it didn't work out. And I ain't too worried about it. I do wanna um, give it some more support. There we have it. Everybody's standing up. Doing good. Living life. I'm going to water it. But I need to mix up my water. Gallon distilled water. Lost some of the water already. But it's okay. Super Thrive. Azala. I did, that was a lot. I put a lot in there. I was watering the damn dollar. Excuse me. Liquid dirt. I'm running out. Put a little bit of that. So we're working with, and I'm gonna just water him.
Bon. All right, I'm letting it just fill up to where the lecker ends. And that's it for him. So I'm gonna put him off to the side. This right here is my philodendron gloriosum that was not doing anything for the longest. It pushed out this leaf right here. Got the nose going down here and it has a new growth point in the middle, so I'm very proud of him. Um, he's wobbling in here a lot, so I do need to... Oh, but I might... Am I gonna sell this? I might sell this. So I'm gonna just um, try to secure him a little bit. Oh. All right, so my, what is this again? Wait, where am I? So my philodendron, a splendii, he's still doing good, doing grand, doing great. Roots popping, living his best one. Um, the new leaf that he was putting out that wouldn't come out for the longest has rotted off. He gave it up, so that's it for that. But he does have this new growth point starting right here, so good luck to him, I guess. Good luck to him. This is him. Beautiful. It's a beautiful plant. And it's really big. It's like the size of my damn body. I just stepped on a sticky trap. But yeah, this is the philodendron. A splendid eye. It's really one of my favorite plants that I have. I want something else like this. Something just... I just really never see this. Ever. Really. Ever. So. But yeah, this is him. He's fine. That's all I had to update you on with the fact that he... What you call it? Oh, somebody told me. Where my phone at? They told me what it was, whether it was a crawler or a climber, and I completely forgot. The dendron asplendii. A climbing plant habit. Mostly grown by those who specifically like this plant and know how to take care of it. It ain't been no special. That's they be really intimidating people when it comes to describing like plant care and stuff. Because I don't do shit special to that plant, and you see it's booming. But with its large green leaves and decent height, it quickly becomes one of your most favorite plants. To keep your philodendron splendia healthy, follow this plant care guide. The Philodendron Splendia prefers growing in environments with bright, dappled sunlight with humidity levels greater than 60% and temperatures above 55 degrees. Yeah, I know that's not what's happening over here, but okay. The ideal temperature range is 70 to 80. Okay, it's a climber. I need to give my Philodendron Splendia a pole. So we about to do that. My computer done clocked out on me, so I don't know if we recording or not, but... See the red dot one. Luckily, I already got these made. This might be my last one that's already made, but yeah, we about to move him into here. You already know the drill, or if you know, the drill is so the drill is that we use a drainless container. We put like at the bottom, at the bottom. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Now for him, let's see. Hold on, let me get the um. Oh, it wasn't even that. That's my stuff. Okay. Go that way. All right, she gets the other. Come down. Where the flow? Where the flow? What I'm doing? Yeah, unpotting him, but I do need to get a um something like this. Oh, I'm bugging. Give me my liquor back. I'm, I'm gonna use the liquor that's already in there. Let me get most of the pawn out though. <laughs> I'm trying to separate the part from the lecker. That's the best I could do. I'm gonna just pour that. That's too much. All right, we 
you got a little slight layer down there at the bottom. Where my pole at? I already wet it and everything. I really don't keep them wet, but to start us off right, I wet it. Okay. I'm dropping my little pieces. Y'all see? Put that in there, and I'm gonna take some of the pond. So it's in pond and sagging them off. By the way. Just separate, separate a little bit so that it could fit. All right, we back recording. So I'm gonna place the part with the nodes along it towards the hole. So basically, like this. Oh, that's cute. That is so cute. I should have been did this, but I forgot all about it. I might have to do the intro to the video over because I don't know what I said this video was going to be about. But yeah, that's cute. That's so cute. Okay. Fill it back up. I was trying not to make a mess today. But it's really inevitable. Put that right down in there. That was beautiful. Velcros. Okay. Still got some of this left. I ran out of the black ones. Come a little closer. Then it's zigzagging. As possible, that's why I'm cutting it after. Oh, all right, so that's a new leaf, so I don't want to do too much to the new leaf. Oh, this is cute. Let me water you. I'm gonna just water it till the leka is covered. Well, I'll do pour some out. All righty. <laughs> Alrighty, so this is my Phyllis Andrew Vespondia living his new life on the pole. I'm very excited to see where this goes. This is one of my favorite plants. I can't tell you what's my favorite plant in here, I, even though we know. But he's a second. He's a he's a close second. He's a close second. I love my Phyllis Andrew Vespondia. I need to bring my pots out. I got all my pots in the cabinet. <laughs> For some reason, I stopped using my pots. Why was that? Oh, because I started using the clear, the clear vessels. But um, let me just update y'all on my philodendron pastas in them. Who, 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 who? It was a long history here, but he has a leaf with no issues. We're doing good. Everything's going swell. He has a new leaf coming out right there. You see the little growth point? Yeah, that's his new leaf. And um, I'm keeping him. I'm gonna make sure that he lives. I'm gonna do my thing and I hope he does his thing. God bless him. We done covered that. Okay. <sighs> Somebody needs a new pole. I forgot this was a big task. This was a big task. He needs a new pole, a longer pole, or I need to extend the pole. Something has to happen with the pole. Something has happened with the pole. He has not attached to this at all. There's been no attaching. It's just it's not interested in attaching to anything. But we do have one little discrepancy. Philodendron Esmeraldus, the wide form. Um, this is him. That's his latest leaf right there. See, this is what I need. 
this is what I need. When my plants are growing up a pole or just, you know, growing up, I need them to get bigger. I need them to act right. My fuzzy patio, who else started acting stupid out of nowhere? I think it was my fuzzy patio, oh yeah, and my philodendron gigantium. Started acting real crazy once they got to the top. But not my philodendron esmeralda, she's doing great. So yeah, what we gonna do about the pole? Let me see, cause you know I don't wanna make a whole new pole. I found this. <laughs> This is way thinner. This is way thinner than the one that's already on here. See? But shit, it ain't attaching to the pole regardless, so what does it matter? So I'm gonna stick this on here some way, somehow. Put it, oh, towards this way. Yeah, I'm gonna um, just zip tie it up in there. I'm gonna just zip tie it in here. Let me go get the zippies. Damn, y'all was not prepared. Okay. Oh yeah, we got poles. We got poles ready. But I need zippies. One. Lord. This is my bag of um plant stuff. But look at this. I'm about to pull out a throwback. The moisture meter. You know when the last time I used the moisture meter? Wow. Wow, we done came a long way, y'all, from rags to riches. We done came from rags to riches. What the hell is this? I don't know what the hell it is. All right, this is not the time for this. I just need one more, one more. Give me one more, one more, one more. What we got? All right, we got one more. Okay. Where'd the pole go? Oh, here it is. So I got three little zippies. I'm gonna zip tie them. Zip tie the poles together. So I don't gotta make another pole. Even though I kind of, I kind of also low key, low key, think I want to repot him, but I don't because the roots ain't going crazy in there like that. They in there. They in there and they are doing their thing. But um, I don't know, I feel like it's so small for such a big plan, but I guess it don't matter, it really don't matter. Let me not psych myself into thinking something is something when it's nothing. Also, just had to help him out a little bit, just a little bit. All right, so we need the pole to be close to the nose. It's, it's looking like he's trying to wrap, but don't wrap. Come forth, come forth. All right, let me just touch these. I'm gonna just loop the loo. Hit the loop the loo on them. Go through the loops on both poles. Come back out. Oh, that that even just worked with one zippy. I'm going through all the honeycombs on both poles. I'm getting up in the honeycombs, coming back out. Going back in the honeycombs, popping back out. Oh. <clears throat> it look a little goofy. Yeah, I'm Philodendron Esmeraldans narrow. Nope, wide. Yep. Philodendron Esmeraldans wide. Love this for me. Um, we haven't had any discrepancies except for the fact that this leaf right here is yellowing. And I think it's yellowing from stress. I had the tank back here. This leaf was pushed up against the tank and I don't think it liked that. I don't think it liked that. So I guess you really can't stress your leaves out, huh? Cause it's not his uh, oldest leaf. The oldest leaves are down here. So. I think I aggravated the leaf by leaving it smushed up against the tent, and here we go. And it wasn't even like, it probably was. Yeah, so I did that. That's my bad. <laughs> if y'all don't turn y'all ass. Oh, look at the pole. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Yeah, 
That looks stupid. That looks so stupid. But it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Because okay, I'm not fixing it right now. <laughs> I'm really not. It's my philodendron Milano Chrysler. Beautiful. What? 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 Oh, the leaf fell off. The pretty orange leaf decapitated itself. I wanted to show y'all that. Look. It was so pretty. Still shiny. Oh, yeah, but it's super weak now. Aww. Oh, look at that. That is so pretty. They need to make it this color. <laughs> they need to make some of these in different colors. Because that is so pretty. But look, that's what's going on. This is the one that I repotted in one of my videos. Because I had it as a one long stem of Philodendron Milano Chrysum. Chopped it up. Rooted everything. It's a bunch of cuttings in there. And yeah, so these are the new little leaves. Right here, I don't know why they're so small. Real small. I don't know what's going on, but hopefully things get better for him. I just wanted to give y'all that little update, and I just want to say, rest in peace. See you at the crossroads. So you don't be lonely. Well, I guess I could just show it, because it's over here, and it'd be rude for me not to show it. But this is my Philodendron Gloriosum, the regular one. It has a new leaf coming out, so yay. I'm not about to bother him, cut him up. Nothing like that. So this is my Philodendron Gigantium. Remember I cut it up, made the cuttings, rooted them, put them back in the pot. This is how everything is looking. The leaves never look too good, so that's, you know, that's nothing. But he got some new leaves coming in right here. I'm very happy about it, very excited about it. And I really appreciate him for all of his efforts. That's him. Real cute. All right, so last but not least over here, we have my philodendron. I guess they call it a hybrido. I have never heard of that. It said hybrido columbia in parentheses. So I don't know because I've just seen an um, Unplanned Parenthood video. She did the tour at the Agua Genera pop-up. They had it labeled as that and it was these and everybody was like, and they were talking about how big they are, you know, and um, yeah, so they're not calling it El Rojo Choco. It's saying Hybrido Columbia in parentheses. I have no idea what this is then. I have no clue. But um, I had cut off all the roots and everything. Oh, I don't want to repot him. I thought I wanted to repot him because I thought it was in like a small container full of Pearl, not perlite. I thought this was in a small container full of pond for whatever reason. And I'm guessing it's because it has pond on top and all I could see was the pond. So I was like, oh my God, I get some sphagnum moss up in there. But it's in sphagnum moss. So it's doing good. I mean, I don't really see any roots or anything, but it did have roots. It had growth points and everything. So hopefully they show themselves soon. This one here at the top. It's still sitting there looking like a cow nipple. Nothing bust out yet, so I guess we just we just wait. We just wait. See? That's what it's working with. So I'ma just go ahead and put him back this shit. Let's work for me. All right, so that's it for this video. Apparently, it was just a quick little one too. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Please follow me on Instagram and TikTok at jasmina.lo, coochiecapital.com for the merch. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.